Paul, is it? Yep, speaking. Yeah, my name is Anthony Badalu. I'm, uh, I'm a Patrick Cole's accountant, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So we got a letter. Yep. Um, apparently you visited this morning and dropped it off? I did, yeah. Okay, so it says he owes uh, £635. That's correct, yeah. Okay, so he's been through some little bit of difficulty, so he's having to try and sort it out. But I have the money, I can pay it for him. Yeah. Um, uh, the the thing it says here, um, he's due uh, an amount including charges for the visit. Yep, it's because it's gone through enforcement. Yeah. Um, what 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 enforcement that did it go through? It comes. It came to Marsden, which is an enforcement agency. Basically, he's got an unpaid court fine at magistrate's level. He's I not see. paid that originally, uh -huh. and the courts have now assigned us to retrieve the monies owed. I understand. And you're from where? Marsden. I'm from Marsden. Yep. Oh, I see. I see. So there was a court. He said to me he doesn't remember having a court fine. You, you'll be surprised how many people don't. Oh, I see. How does that work? Basically, uh, is, is uh, Mr. Cole next to you? No, no, no. It's a different no, person. I can't go into details, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. afraid, obviously, because you should know yourself doing what you yeah. do because of GDPR. If Mr. Cole was next to you, all I'd have to do is ask him, have you got authority enough to give you all the information? I understand. But, well, we can write. We can put it in writing, yeah? Yeah. What, what's your surname? Because it just says Paul on here. Yeah, I don't put my surname because of today's day and age with social media and stuff like that. So. Oh, I thought it was a legal requirement. You had to put your no, name. No. I can put whatever name I want. Is it? <laughs> as, long as, it as long as it's my name, obviously. Oh, I put see. Mr. or just my first name. Some people put their first name and on the inside both names. So uh -huh. it's not a legal requirement to put both names, no. Ah, uh, that's a shock to me. But the, okay, so um, it says you're an enforcement agent, right? Yes. Which means you're collecting on behalf of the HMCTS. Yes. Okay. Have, have you got an enforcement agent number at all? Because it's missing here. What do you mean missing? You know there is a number. You must have a warrant card with a number on it. That EAC3 um, document? Well, no? Yeah, I've got a certificate and my roll number is 3979. 39. And which court are you registered with? Uh, every single one in England and Wales. Oh, I see. But which one granted you the license? Uh, Chelmsford. Chelmsford? Yeah. Oh, lots of, lots of enforcement agents are coming out of Chelmsford. Yeah. Um, so, so what's all this information for? No, what, what, Mr. Mr. Um, Patrick, Coil. yeah, well, he, he asked me to deal with it, but because I'm an accountant, I have to be careful because I have to yeah, make sure. No, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, this, uh, this order came from, uh, yeah. on the 30th of the 7th, 2018, come from Highbury Corner Magistrates Court. That's oh. who sent sent it to us. Oh, we just won a couple of cases there in the last uh, in last month. Oh, did you? Highbury Corner. Um, they got some nice people sitting there pretending to be judges, don't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm so, not the pretending. So there was a there was a, 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 a there was a judgment from this date on the court. Yes. But you know, court documents are public documents, don't you? What do you mean, public documents? Data protection doesn't cover court instruments because they're for the public to see. Yes, and if Mr. Cole was there and he, he asked me to it, see it, the okay, uh, fine. I'm, I would have showed him. No, I'm just telling you, you can show it to the world and his wife because a court instrument is a public document. Yeah, but, but I don't need to know that. Oh, I see. Okay, because I was going to ask you if you could email me a copy so I can check no, it out I with the court. No, I email you a copy of the warrant. Oh, it's a warrant, is it? Yes, and it's not a paper one anymore. If you want the wet warrant, you have to apply to the court for it. Uh-huh. So it's not a paper one? No, it's all digital now. But you, if you want the wet the, yeah. the, what they call the wet warrant, which is signed by the judge, that's yeah. held at the court. I see. Because you know what, there's, there's a lot of a lot of my clients are getting... Um, one of my clients today, right? Um, he had a phone call. He said it was from the HMCTS 
from a 0300 number. Yeah, it's uh, very unlikely that the HMCTS would call you. And it was very threatening. Yeah, it's very, very, very unlikely that HMCTS would phone you up. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, okay, so so you're saying with the name issue, yeah? If you wanted, for whatever reason, let's say, for example, you, you didn't have a proper warrant, you wanted to make a complaint. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of people called Paul. I, I, I just like yeah, your proper name. Just, it seems to me that you're asking a heck of a lot of questions. Yeah, because we, you you drop a paper, but it doesn't have anything to back it up. Yeah, That's why I'm not, asking. You're not allowed to drop a warrant through the post. No, but you can drop something more substantial like this. That's all we get issued. If you've got an issue with it, you can phone the Marsden's office up. But with due respect, so, sir, with, with due respect, you, you're the one, you're the one taking your body down to the man's premises. So you must, you must be responsible for what you, your actions. You, you, you haven't signed this document. When I get your warrant card, I can't double check the signature with the signature on your card to see if it's legit or not. Oh, what suit you mean? You think this is fake? I don't think nothing. I'm just looking. No, no, the thing is, though, you're, you're more than told to, and the thing is, I actually encourage it. If I actually talk to people, I encourage them to take a photo of my uh, BWV. What's a BWV? Body-worn video. I don't need that. I just need your warrant card, sir, and your proper name. Well, have you got an email address and I can send you an email? Yeah, 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 you're sure, 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 sure. It's um, oh, my ad enforcement agent certificate. Yeah. Because the... no one carries warrant cards anymore. Oh, the EAC3 um, ID. Yeah. yeah. That one. Yeah. So uh, I'm just going to make a If you could, because you know what? I had a man come out of my house uh, saying he was a bailiff. He had a yellow vest and everything. And when it came down to it. A bailiff wouldn't wear a yellow vest. Well, there we go. You know what I mean? So sometimes you got to look at, the devil is in the detail, isn't it, Paul? Yeah, yeah. Of course yeah. it is. Of course it is. But it just uh, sounds like you've been a bit funny. That's the one I... No, 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 no. Oh, you you, you sound that. like a perfectly reasonable guy, but I, I've just got to dot the I's and cross the T because I could be done for professional negligence. Yeah, no, if, absolutely. Ah. Monday, it's a complete stranger. Well, if you, if you email me, it's um, admin. Admin, yeah. Or I can text you the email if it's easier. Yeah, text it over, be easy. Yeah. Yeah. get it right. Then. But if you do that, he's instructed me to try and pay it for him and settle it because you don't want any more hassle. Yeah. But at the same time, I want to make sure it's uh, Absolutely. legit. Absolutely, I'll do that for yeah? you. If you text me over your email address, I'll text over my certificate. I appreciate it, Mr. Paul. And you, no, no, one no. last time, you're not giving me your, your surname. Uh, noble, N-O-B-L-E. And it'll be on the certificate. Not, oh, is that Noble or Noble Watts? Noble, N-O-B-L-E. Are you aware of another man called Noble Watts? No. Oh, this is just uh, very easy. So anyway... Um, all right, so look, I appreciate your time. Have a wonderful evening, and um, and I look forward. I will text you the email. Right, yeah, no problem. Thank, Thank you, care. sir. Bye bye. So he finally gave a name. So <laughs> let's check on the bailiff register for a bit of fun. I did fun. Um, Bailiff, bailiff, um, bailiff register, right? So what we got here, certificate bailiff register. So we're gonna tap his name in there, noble. Find. So we got. Um, let me see if I can blow this up. So, we were right. We got... Uh, um, Paul Michael Noble, which I presume is what he's talking about. Paul Michael Noble, Chelmsford, right? So he said he's authorized by all the courts in the country. Mm -hmm. Then we got another Matthew Noble. Matthew Noble twice. Matthew Noble is a double agent. He's in um, 
It doesn't say what court. Matthew Noble is a, is a law unto himself. He's not the right person. And then we got Paul Michael Noble. He's a double agent as well. Um, Chelmsford again. Um, Marston Group. The other one, no group, no no company. Uh, I don't know how these. <laughs> oh, so he did it. <laughs> He didn't put his details on the paper. So people, when you get bailiff things, check it all bloody out. Don't part with your cash and don't yield just to threat. Let them have the sleepless nights. You don't. Thank you.